So last night, I had a dream that I was being strangled. I don't think by someone, I think by something. Not like something like a ghoul or something, like a rope. <laughs> An object. Uh, <laughs> so I had this dream that I was being strangled and I was like feeling myself dying. Yay, that was fun. And then I woke up like gasping for air and yeah, that was that was not fun. No. So I may have possibly almost died last night. Hmm. Safe to say, didn't get the best night's sleep. <laughs> but it's Friday, so yeah. Don't need to be well rested, right? Alright. Morning. Get out of bed. No. Yes. No. You too, Arthur. Get out of bed. No. Yes. No. So we have the start of the four hour long break of wonderfulness. And Sean is going to edit on an off chair. And because he's editing and I want to do something productive, I'm going to buy textbooks alone. There's four textbooks to buy. Three of them are mine. One of them Sean's, and I'm buying him a textbook. And he owes me so much money. I really do. I'll get my OSAP eventually. I know. That's fine. I'd, I'd rather buy it for you now because it I has... I have due in like a week. <laughs> yeah, and I don't want you to like get behind. Yeah. And if you can get that done, yeah, it shows understanding, and then you can continue on with your lesson and all that crap. And just generally keep ahead of things. I'm surprised I haven't bought the textbooks yet, because usually I do, but it just... It still doesn't feel like it's school time yet. Like... I don't think it's ever going to feel like school this semester. Because we have very little workload, and it's not right. It's just... What is it? It's just... It's just is it just because it's... it's just, we only have four classes. It's a pretty laid-back semester. And just doing stuff. Like, until we get, like assignments, like big assignments that are worth like 15-20% or midterms until then, or yeah, like a test until then it's not going to feel like anything and then once that's done it's going to go back to just feeling really lax it's just a yeah. lax so I kind of like it because we'll never have this kind of feeling again mm -hmm. but we, we tried to look for old textbooks because we didn't want to buy them new but they don't really exist. So I'm gonna go buy all new copies. The thing is, a lot of them, it doesn't feel like we're gonna use it, but it has important information that can help us for the assignments, specifically like our communications one was like, if you get this, it'll help you with the assignments. It tells you exactly what to do and all that crap. In my operations class, he hasn't talked about the textbook once. He prints off all these pamphlets, and then that's what we have. But if I have the textbook, I can read it to get my own understanding, because it seems to be I'm going to have to teach myself this semester, but it's a good thing that I still kind of like what's going on in operations. And we haven't used economics either, but we've only had two classes. but. It'll be important because it, everything that you get, it's good for studying on your own time. And it's also good that we can share those three, or, well, those two operations is just solely for me. And in computers, we don't need one. So, yes. 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 So, change in plans. We got kicked out of that room so Sean couldn't edit there. We quickly ran and got books, and like, it went super fast, because I had Sean to carry them all. Thank you. And we made our way here, and we have a comfy spot, and we're hoping that these plugs work, so Sean can edit here. And then I'll just relax. And sit here for like four hours, because that's the time like, we have. These are comfy chairs. I know, it's last, really nice. Last week we sat around for four hours, but we sat in uncomfortable chairs. Yeah. And our, our butts hurt. It was, that's very true. Plug works. Yay! 
And now for relaxing. And it's really pretty outside. It's a little bit snowy, but it's, it looks nice. It's like a, it's a pretty type of snow. Yeah. It's a pretty sight. Do I have rosy red cheeks? Uh, uh I don't know, because the only cheek I see is in shadow. That, that doesn't work. Uh, generally no. Maybe a tiny bit. You want me to do it? No. <laughs> no, thank you. Do I have it? Uh, yes. We just took Arthur on a big long stroll for the evening. Stroll. Because we had to take Lydia's car back to her house. And had to go home to go to sleep. Yeah. <laughs> because we can't we can't keep it here overnight because we can't we usually park it along the bottom of the driveway. Um, but right now it's like impossible to park along the bottom of the driveway because there's big s snow mounds. It's not like, even snow, it's like solid ice. Yeah, on like either side. So it's it'd be very difficult to, uh, I guess we we could like parallel park our way into it. But we're like, eh. That's, that's, <laughs> that would be the <laughs> worst thing in the world. That's a lot of effort. <laughs> so we we took it home to go to sleep and then we walked all the way back to my house. And it's, it's a little chilly out. So, we got a comment that I would like to share with everybody. Oh, I, Arthur, it's a nice comment. I like it. From Cookie Williams 1990. Which means this person is as old as you. Woo! Or they just like that number. Oh. Probably, it's probably their, their birth year. Woo! I would assume. To, uh, basically, it was a response to our video talking about what we thought about Sherlock, like, Series 3. Arthur, please be quiet. I'm sorry I'm not paying attention to you. We always have to pay attention to you. Because he's so cute. He has, like, a mohawk going on right now. Yay. Give him a treat. That'll shut him up. Reward him for being a butthead. I will hold him now that I have him, and then he won't make noise. And we'll both be behind you making faces. Got it. Okay. So, basically, this comment in response to... In response to our video talking about how we were very displeased with Sherlock, uh, this person, Cookie Williams 1990 said... I have to agree with everything you guys said. There are a lot of us that feel disappointed with this season. But if we choose to say we are unhappy with the show, all of a sudden we are ungrateful. It just fell f it, it yeah, it just fell flat for me. The first two seasons were just freaking amazing. So many standout memorable scenes, especially series 2. But this series just felt blah to me. I also think waiting two years built up so much hype that it was bound to be a disappointment. Usually things that are hyped up so much fail. I'm honestly surprised that these episodes are getting great reviews in the media. I agree. <laughs> Sometimes I feel like the fans wear rose-colored glasses with this show. Which I really like that, that term. Uh, Anyway, I have no desire to repeat watch these episodes like I did series 1 and 2. I'll still watch the next series, but my passion for the show kind of faded a little. Thanks for making a video about this. A lot of us are disappointed. Sad face. I like that now I know that there's actually more people that feel the same way. Yep. That's not you and then somewhat racial. <laughs> yeah, because I can be a little... uh harsh and that's uh i was worried that i had jaded you that my cynicism had me had infected you i didn't like the show <laughs> yeah. I, yeah there were parts that i was like yeah but there was also parts that was just like Bleh. yeah so yes good there are other people in the world who agree with us because it's just everywhere i look a lot of people are just you know we're like this is the best season yet this is amazing they're the ones that it's speak so up more. It's so funny. Alright, homies. I'm tired and I need to go to bed. Alright. Alright. 
けない。